when you focus on the breath and stay with the breath, you're building a home for the mind. The Pali term, Viharadhamma. It's a quality that it provides your home. It's your dwelling place. And so you want to make sure that the dwelling place really does protect you from the winds of gain and loss and status and loss of status, praise, criticism, pleasure, pain. You've got to make sure it's solid. It's going to be built on a foundation of the, observing the precepts, that you are virtuous in your engagements with other people. Because if you're not, then when the time comes to sit down and meditate, there's a sense that something's wrong. So either you focus on what's wrong, which makes it the home uncomfortable, or you try to deny it. It's like there being a leaky pipe or a weak foundation, you just try to cover it up. That doesn't stay solid very long. So this is built on the precepts. And then you decorate the home with your generosity. So that's a pleasant place to be. You can think of the times you've made sacrifices for other people. And it gives you a sense of your own worth. Whether they appreciate it or not, what matters is that you appreciate the fact that you went out of your way to help. That decorates the house. But the house itself is built out of mindfulness, alertness, ardency. We want to make sure that these things are solid and don't let, let there be any lapse. A lapse in your mindfulness is like a big hole in the wall. All kinds of things can come in. invade your house. And so instead of dwelling on the breath, you find yourself dwelling someplace else. Like those pictures they have of the mouse plague in Australia right now. All it requires is a little tiny hole in the house, and all of a sudden hundreds of mice come into the house. So you want to make sure your mindfulness is consistent. You're going to stay with the breath all the way in, all the way out, and then from the next breath, the next breath, without fail. That way you've got a good wall, you've got a good roof, everything is solid inside. And then you make sure the breath is comfortable, so the house is a good place to stay. That way you won't go running out with the mice. So keep this image in mind that you're building a house. You want to make sure the foundation is solid, the house is a good-looking house. And it really does provide protection. That kind of house you can take as a dwelling, and you can live in this world and not get blown around by the winds.